In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you two techniques for adding more than one effect to your project at the same time frame. Let's assume you want to do some weather effects on the clip like the one we have here. We have a time sequence here of a sunrise in a desert. Let's add a little weather to it, but add more than one effect, but multiple. There are a couple ways to do that. The first technique is to drop the effect right on top of your clip. So I'm going to go to my FX room. I can press the F4 key to get there. Now mine says all content. What, I'm, what I've done is I've taken several effects and put them in my favorites. So I'll click on favorites. Let's start out with fog. So I'll take fog and drop it down with the left mouse button, drag and drop it right on top of the clip. And now I see I have this little icon in the lower left corner, this I for information. And if I hover the mouse over it, it turns into a hand. And I see that it says I have one effect applied to the clip itself called fog. So when I play the clip, throughout the duration of the clip, I see the fog in its default setting. So that is how you can add a single effect. Now let's add another effect. Let's say I want fog and rain. I'll hold down the rain with the left mouse button, drag and drop to the clip. And now when I hover over the icon, the little eye in the lower left corner of the clip, it tells me I have two effects applied to this particular clip, both fog and rain. If we go ahead and play that clip, we see we have some fog coming in and we have some rain coming down. And we can adjust both of those. That's another lesson. But we have two effects, and I could actually add the third one. I can add snow, and now it tells me I have three options added. And we have rain, fog, and snow coming in at the same time, both impacting the same clip. Now, there are a couple problems with this, and that's that uh, usually I, I may not want the effect to last for the entire duration of the clip and I want, may want the effect to moderate, to get more intense or less intense during the clip. Now, one of the ways to deal with that is to use keyframing on the effects. That's a separate tutorial you can find here at Sharper Turtle. But there's a simpler way if you don't want to go into the laborious task of keyframing the, the different frames within your clip using the effects. I'm going to highlight the clip, click on Effect, and we're going to remove each of these. In order to remove an effect, you simply make sure you have it highlighted in the box on the left. Then you click the minus key. That takes out our fog. Now our rain is gone. Now our snow is gone. Let me show you technique number two for stacking or adding or multiplying effects on a clip in the same period of time. I'm going to take my fog and drop it down and drop it right below the clip to the effect track below. And now when I play that clip, the effect is not within it, it is below it in the special track. But the, the look and feel in the project is the same. Now I have fog coming in as the sun begins to rise. But now, because I have an effect track, I can add another one. Two ways to do that. The first is to right click anywhere where there is nothing on a track and then I can choose the add tracks option. I'll get this screen. A faster way is simply to click on the icon in the upper left corner above the timeline, above track one, the little square with a film and that will add additional tracks that gets me to the same screen. So what I'm going to do now, I don't want any video tracks, so I'll zero that out. Then I'll highlight the audio. I don't want any, but I'm going to add two effect tracks. So I put the number two in, and I want them not below track two, but above track two. The location doesn't matter, but I like them stacked next to each other so I can see what I'm doing. And I click on OK. And now if I look carefully, I have three effect tracks now that I can use. So we have fog coming in. Let's assume we want rain to start a little bit after the fog does. So I'll take the rain and drag it down to the second effect track. And so when I play, I have fog coming in to start with. 
and then the fog continues and I get my rain effect. So they're both uh, operative at the same time and then maybe my fog goes away and all I have left is rain. So here I have a progression of effects. If I want to change the duration of either of these, all I have to do is drag from the end of the effect. It will shorten it or lengthen it. And now let's, let's for fun, let's add a little bit of snow here. I could put snow on track number one in place of fog, or I can drop it down to track three, uh, do as much adjustment as I want. So now I have fog changing mixing with rain and then changing as apparently it gets colder all the way to snow. So we'll go ahead and play the clip and you can see fog and rain and then the rain turns to snow. Now if you want to make this a lot more realistic what you can do is go into any of the effects double click, click on modify and then we have an option in the effects called keyframing. And we have a different tutorial that shows you how to do that, where you can change the effect, make it more or less intense over time by using keyframes. But this is a quick way to understand the, the two techniques you can use to apply multiple effects at the same period of time in your project. Mm -hmm.